guys welcome back to my channel it's Malikwa Jante thank you so much for clicking on this video welcome back to all the old subscribers and welcome to those new subscribers yeah you I know you haven't clicked the button but I'll give you a chance to do so you got it you did it so today I did a you know my hair was looking a little rough before I did a twist out on Saturday I think it was Saturday did a twist out on Saturday curls came out popping it was in my Fenty Beauty um, video the link will be above and this is the aftermath come three days later it's Monday so you know my twist out is not going to be as popping as before but I still had some curl definition but I didn't really feel like doing a twist out nor did I feel like washing my hair so this was the next best option because I didn't want to spend too much time finagling different things. So if you stay tuned, you'll see how I accomplish this lovely high puff. You know, let's get into the video. Um, so the products that I am going to use to refresh this um, little twist out that I had is my water bottle. I'm going to use some Jamaican castor oil. I got this from the hair store. Um, I think it was like $4.99 or so, but I like to keep my hair moisturized, especially when I'm constantly wetting my hair and then going out into the day. So good moisture. Um, for my curls, I am using the curls product. This is the Goddess Curls, the Botanical Jelly. Um, if you watch my past video where I did my first impressions on the Fenty Beauty. That was my original hair before this. You know, it was more defined. Um, some of the curls are still there, but nonetheless, it's not how it was before. And then I am going to use a large tooth comb um, just to pick out my puff a little bit more. And then on those good old edges, we are going to use the Eco Styler. This is the black castor and flaxseed oil. I've been loving this so much. Like if you look inside, it looks like it has like little sparkles in it. I just love it and it smells so, so good. So, so good. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to use some of this um, oil. Not too much. Go ahead and rub that and then just rub it into my hair. I have so many twists that are just like really, really coiled in here, but nonetheless, rub that in. From there, I'm going to use this spray bottle and spray my hair, get it a little moist, get those curls back to being defined y'all yeah, I'm wetting the wall um how wet you get it is really your or how moist and you get it is really up to you I kind of like to add a lot of water because I know how my curls react to water preferably and then I'll use some of this not too much because my hair already has it on there. This is the same product I used when I did my twist. But I'm going to use a little bit, literally like that much. Rub it on my hand and just pick random places where it looks like the curls are not as defined. And put some of the product on there. This part is not even wet. And then I'm going to use this paddle brush. Got this from the dollar store, guys. Nothing too fancy at all. And we're going to go ahead and just like comb that out a little bit. Have those curls a little bit more popping tin. Now, now I've added moisture to my hair. It still looks... What the heck? 
it still looks a little cray cray um but nonetheless it will all get handled so i'm gonna go ahead and use the eco styler and go ahead and apply it to my edges Um, I apply a little bit to the back just so it doesn't look crazy in the back and it's more tamed. From there, I use a toothbrush. This is the only toothbrush that I use, so it's a little dirty. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I ain't gonna judge you, so don't judge me, okay? Let me live. Let me live. So I'm gonna use this toothbrush and go ahead and slick these edges down. So that is that. Hair is a little bit more moistened. Moistened? That is not even a word. Moisturized. How about that one? And then I have this oversized like ponytail holder. It's like really, really stretchy and perfect. So I don't have to like double knot like normally with like a hair tie and have a headache all day. This is actually perfect. Pop my earring, y'all. So I'll go ahead and put that here and just roll up the back. And then the front normally rolls up by itself. Push it up as far as possible. And then you just wanna fluff and pull and do everything else to make it as popping as you want it to be. From there, I go back in with this little toothbrush and make sure these edges are still slick handy. I know y'all I'm spending so much time on these edges but personally no shade I don't like seeing a puff with a nappy look with nappy edges and... not good to me so I spend as much time as I can to get it as slick or as good as possible and then I just pull Pull and pull and pull. All right, and like I said before, I'm gonna use an oversized comb. I got this from, I think the hair store and just go in and pull and lift it as well. I just like my puff to look as full as possible. And y'all, that is it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like these types of videos, quick and easy styles that you can do with your natural hair, because I know sometimes it can be a struggle, especially if we forget to twist our hair at night or whatever, do a twist out or whatever, or in the morning, the twist out, honey, just does not work. We got to find alternatives. So if this is what you would like to see, let me know down in the description box. Um, also, don't forget, I have Queen Living Apparel. The link will be attached be below as well as above um, where you can click it and go straight to the site to get your Queen Living Apparel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share this video as well as hello. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.